Right, it's day two. I'm back again. Today is Friday the 12th. <coughs> yeah, I think. Yes, Friday the 12th of uh, February. And it's the second Ormer in Tide. Now, I'm heading out to the same spot as I was yesterday. I was tempted to try a new area, but um, I didn't want to... If I, if I didn't manage to find any, I didn't want to waste my time. So I thought I'd come back here again, give it another go. Although this time, I've just come from the car, obviously, and I'm headed out um, towards uh, around the side of the island straight away. Whereas the last couple of times I've been here, I've sort of been... Uh, a bit further to my left and then work my way round but as the tide's coming in so I'm going to take advantage of the last 45 minutes or so of the ebb and go have a little hunt around that area there's quite a few more people out today um, temperatures picked up a little it's still very cold but it's uh, not as cold as yesterday I think we might even be in the plus numbers now, so yeah, it makes a big difference. So I'm gonna head down there. I can see about five or six people there already. And we'll see if we can find any more almonds. Now, like I've said a few times now, I'm by no means any expert on this whatsoever. Um, I've only been out a few times so uh, yeah I'm just learning the ropes really of the whole ormering slash foraging thing but it's really enjoyable now uh, I'd be really happy if I could get just another two three four today I only had three keepers yesterday but it was still a lot of fun to come out and I found quite a few well probably about a dozen just most are on the sides so if I could get another three or four today that'll be the perfect amount for uh, a little cook up for me and my girlfriend guys a long old truck out there Here we have our first two of the day, just under this little rock. As you can see, this one, obviously not in size. This one, I think is gonna be very, very close. So I'll give it a measure now. God, that could be, bang on. There's our first warmer, but not a keeper. So what we're gonna do is flip that rock back over and pop him just under there. Oh well, at least we found a couple. Let's keep going in this area. Well, these here have the smallest I've ever found. Look at that, but check this one out. This is literally a little bit bigger than my fingernail. Crazy, two little tiny ones. There we are, 
there's another one and I think that one may be in size so I'll get that measured now that one looks just about in to me I'm gonna get it off going to be in. I think if it is it will be close. Oh, from the longest part there I'd say that's bang on. I'll keep that and I'll double check it later on and as always if it's not size it goes back. Just found a little clam there. Not too sure what kind that is. Sort of got like a white and pinky shell. Quite nice. I've just uh, tried to capture a little squat lobster as well, but it got away from me under a rock. I'm seeing quite a few different species. It's just trying to get them, catch them in time. They're all so quick. Well, there's another little baby one just there. And now that is definitely the smallest I've ever found. That is absolutely tiny. Not much bigger than that little winkle there. Little ones for the future. this a check again I'm not too sure about this one could just be it's really difficult to tell with a tape measure I really need to uh, invest in a proper measure really but I'll keep this one again and double check it and like I said there's no way I'm risking taking any undersize so I'll put this one in the bag and the two I've got so far they might be going back so keep on hunting well that's quite a cool little creature I'm not too sure exactly what that is but it looks like one of those sucker fish it's got like a flat bottom to it so they suck to the to the rocks put him back under there there we go there's another little baby there stuck to the side of the rock Well, at least we're finding a few. Just need to find some bigger ones now. Wind is picking up now. So there we go. Another little baby one just there. A bit breezy. And again, more little babies there. Seems to be plenty of small ones in this area. Be good for next year. Now that looks like an alright one.
haven't found any monsters yet. What's this one saying? I think that's just over by a mill. Could be a key for that one. Oh, soaked my hand. few of these now. I found a, a bigger one before. This one's only a tiny one. Little squat lobster. Back there. Slip it over. There we go. Another little armor there. But yeah, a few creatures under that rock. Little uh, brown crab as well. over there that's interesting now I literally just moved this little rock here as you can see this isn't big and there is an ormer just sat underneath it there's also another little squat lobster there you can see but yeah it's just sat stuck to the rock there I think that may be in closer to nine or one oh eight and a half. And like I said again, I'll keep saying it, I'll check them all after. There's another little baby one there. Ah, and a bigger. Here we go. There's a bigger one, right next to an ormer. Be easy. Big starfish there. Getting back under the rock. Still finding quite a few small ones. There's another one there stuck to that rock. But no monsters today. Now I know this is a very popular place for people to come, so Maybe all the bigger ones are gone. That rock's been flipped before. I just found another one, but just under that one. So we put him back there. Keep going. Probably got another half an hour until I'm going to have to head back. That one's in. Just found a couple on this little rock. Well, I say little rock, a big rock. One tiny one. And one nice one there. Nine centimetres that, so as a keeper. There we go. Beauty.
cheese in as well. well at least we're getting a few now. Another small one there. Plenty of small ones around. how they can be hiding sometimes. Just flip this rock over. Always remember, move the weed, because there we go. It's just camouflaged. I'm pretty sure that's inside. And she's in. Is it that way? Lovely job. Well, I've just flipped this big rock. So there we have a tiny little armor. And here, if I can get him. Ah, oh, he's gone. He's gone under that rock. There's a top knot, little top knot, clung to the rock. But he's just gone under this one. There's no way I, I can lift that. Right, I'm going to start heading back now. It's coming up to about two o'clock. Um, I've just seen a lot of other people heading back, so I'm going to follow in their direction before I get cut off. And uh, yeah, we'll check the other ormers when we get back. One more rock won't right hurt. So yeah, once again, head on into the wind, we'll head back over. Right, so that's going to do it. That's all the armors there. How many have we got? Two, four, six, seven. So, plenty for what I need. I'm just going to check them now. And hope and pray they're all in. That seems to be bang on eight I think one of these is under oh, that one's bang on eight that one's just over eight that one's good and that one's just over eight also that one's in which one was it that one's also in. This one looks in as well. It is. So I think it was the first or second one there. She was just pushing it, but it is in. So there we go. Seven almonds. Well, just walking back up to the beach here to my car. Check that out. God knows how long that's been there for. That thing could do some damage. Not anymore, it's pretty blunt and rusty. But God, I'll take that up the beach. Might get some dodgy looks with this thing in my hand. 